Hi, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple mapping textures uh, for use with Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this example, I'm using the Machinery 01.C4D scene. So I'm going to select this metal shader and graph it here. This is the shader that's applied to these metallic parts of our little machine here. And let's go into the node editor and the textures I want to talk about in this video are the triplanar texture and the UVW transform texture. Let's take a look at the UVW transform texture first. There's some interesting creative uses for this texture. For example, you can use it to kind of remap the same texture twice or layered on top of each other with a mixed texture uh, using two different uh, kind of transforms for the texture. So let me see if I can explain that a little bit better with a demonstration. Uh, I'm going to create an image texture here. Let's set the um, type to float. Uh, let's click on the file button here to open up the file browser. And I want to find the panel 06 bump texture. That's this one right here. Kind of a detailed grayscale image. Let's open that. We'll copy it to our local project directory. And uh, if I just plug this directly into the bump on our surface and then do a refresh of the render here, you can see we get kind of this cool, interesting sort of detail on the surface. And the texture is mapped based on the UVs of the surface. So let's go back into the node editor here and let's create a mix texture. So create a mix texture and you use this to mix two different textures together. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the image texture into texture one. Then I'm going to plug the same image texture into the texture input of UVW transform. And then let's plug the output of UVW transform into texture two of the mixed texture. And let's plug this into bump. So I don't see a whole lot of difference just yet. Let's go into UVW transform, click on the transform button expand our options here and we can say move the scale down and now you can kind of see that we're getting this sort of smaller level of detail here or this smaller detail it's the same texture just kind of layered on top of itself and uh, if i go into the mix texture and move it all the way to zero here's our original bump texture and if I move it all the way to one, we can see here is the UVW transform adapted version of the same texture. And so we can use the mixed texture to kind of blend them together to create different levels of detail here using the same texture. Anytime you can use the same texture twice, it's a good thing because it saves some VRAM and can speed up your render and help you avoid running out of memory. And of course, you can also go to UVW transform and do things like translate that other texture or the transformed texture, I should say, in different ways and create kind of cool, interesting looking detail on the surface. So now let's take a look at the triplanar texture. That's the one that you find right here. Now, the first thing I want to point out is there are two things called triplanar in Octane for Cinema 4D. If I click on a projection node and create a projection node, under texture projection, you can see there is a triplanar texture projection here. So we'll talk about this when we could do uh, a movie on uh, projection, but I just wanna point out that these are two different things. Um, they can be used together, but in this case, I'm just gonna use the triplanar texture to give you an idea of how it works. Let's actually move it up here. And I'm going to plug this into both diffuse and specular. And let's create an RGB spectrum texture. Let's actually create three of them. I'll make this one red. I'll make this one green. And I'll make this one blue. So I'll plug the red one into plus X. And you can see that now this one side of the uh, surface becomes red. And 
the opposite side is still that grayish color, so I'll plug this into negative x. Now you can see we have that red color on both positive x and negative x. So now I'll take the green one and I'll plug it into positive y. Of course, negative y we're not going to see because it's the bottom of the surface. But you can see immediately that the green texture is being applied to all the surfaces that are facing in the y direction. And you can see there's even a border along here. So when I plug in blue into the z side, you can probably guess what's going to happen. Sure enough, we get blue on the z direction side. So this, obviously, I'm using color textures, but these could be image maps, and they could also be procedural textures. If I go into the triplanar um, options, I have a blend angle here that if I bring this up, it starts to bleed those colors together so that you don't have such a hard edge here. So you can see right here, there's kind of a bleed between the colors and the different sides. If we bring it down to zero, we get more of a hard edge. And then in the option for the triplanar texture down here, you can choose between world or object space. And if I click on blend cube transform, this gives me access to some transform settings. The most useful of which of course is gonna be the rotate settings. I can use this to actually rotate the position of those colors on the surface or the, I should say the projection, the triplanar projection. So as I rotate it around, you can see the colors shift on the surface. So you could use this to fine tune the direction from which the projections are taking place. If you look down here, it's, just, it's especially noticeable. So that is the triplanar texture for Octane for Cinema 4D.